What's up, everyone? Just finished my Shopify store here. What do you guys think? Pretty sweet, right? I'm proud of it. I'm uh, ready to launch and start selling. Oh, what the heck? Why does my store say powered by Shopify on the bottom? Well, that's my horrible way of acting out the realization that every store, every Shopify theme by default has this message on the bottom. Whether you're a new merchant and you discover it early or discover it later, it can still kind of not sit well with you, especially if you want to give your site that really authentic and original feel, right? It's not that it's a bad thing. I mean, the, the store is in fact powered by Shopify, but like, like I said, it, most, most merchants want to appear as independent. They don't want that association and borderline free advertising on their site for Shopify, right? So the good news is it's quite easy to remove. So this video is just um, basically to accompany our, our written tutorial to show you the two methods on how to remove that, okay? So a little bit of background, every free Shopify theme will by default have that message appear in the footer and on the password page <coughs> of every theme. <clears throat> okay, those are free Shopify themes. Now paid themes uh, and third party developed themes may or may not have the message. Uh, if they do, the process will likely be different for removing it. So you'll have to contact the support of that theme specifically. But this article and video are simply focused on the free Shopify themes that are guaranteed to have that message and uh, the process will be the same for removing it for every single theme, okay? So let's get started by, from our Shopify admin, I'm gonna go to online store themes. The first method is, I guess you could call the easier method. They're both quite simple though, as you'll see. I'm gonna go to actions, edit languages, as you just saw me do, sorry I didn't specify as I was doing it, but Okay, I'm gonna to go to the filter field and I'm just going to type the word powered. Give that a second to find it. And here we see two things. Okay, we see powered by Shopify and we see the password page, powered by Shopify HTML, okay? For this one, as you can see, you can't delete this. This can freak some merchants out at first, but the simple way to get rid of that is just put a space. Okay, then when I click out of that field, you can see it's gone. For this one, which would be on the password page, I just highlight and delete it all. Okay, simple as that. Because I'm showing you two methods, I'm not going to save what I'm doing right now, but it's only those two fields, okay? If I backspace there, it will reappear. Space there, delete there. And then hit save. And that's it. That's the first method, super simple. That will probably be the preferred method for a lot of people. But if for some reason that doesn't work, I've never seen any cases of it not working, but it's always good to have a backup plan. So for the second method, I'm gonna go back to themes. Slow loading on the preview, but that doesn't matter. So here, and now I'm gonna to go to edit code. The reason this, uh, this method can be kind of off-putting is typically the word code can uh, intimidate some people if they don't have any background knowledge, but you don't need to know anything about it. You just need to be able to search for this. So I'll show you the store has our Powered by Shopify link. Okay. I'm going to find the sections folder and I'm going to go to footer, footer liquid. Okay. As I said, that, that link always appears in the footer. Now I'm just gonna control F or command F, depending if you're on Windows or Mac. Then I'm going to, I copied it earlier and it's in the article. I'm gonna search for this tag, okay? Powered by link, okay? And guess what, whoops. What the heck have I just done? Ah, uh, sorry, I just, I moved it there. That was weird, okay. Sorry about that. So I just want to delete this tag completely, okay? It doesn't matter, this this has nothing. Like I said, if you don't know what's going on here, um, just need to delete that tag. It's not gonna affect anything else, okay? 
Then I'm going to hit save. If I go to our preview and refresh, there you go. As you can see, the power by Shopify is gone. Okay. So I'll show you if I put that powered by link back and save it. Refresh. There you have it. The link is back. Okay. So in some some themes, I've noticed that this tag is not exactly the same. In that case, uh, just search powered powered by, it's going to be in there somewhere and just remove all instances of powered by Shopify and it will have the same result. Okay. I mean, I wouldn't mess around too much with the code, but just make sure that that powered by link, this tag specifically or anything powered by Shopify is removed. Okay. So thanks for watching. I hope that wasn't too complicated. Like I said, the two, the two methods are very simple. Uh, and it's a, it's purely a matter of your preference, whether you want to keep that or not. It's just a really hot topic among merchants because a lot of them want to convey that, that image of, of self sustainability and regardless of what the motivation is for removing it, it's definitely, uh, something that new merchants desire. So I hope that was informative. Enjoy the article. Let us know if you know of any other methods to do it, and that would be great. Okay, take care. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.